This is the best part of mainland Belize, without a doubt. Um, good. So dark. That is so crazy. That's huge. Wow. Before we get back to van life, we're taking a quick pit stop to two new countries to get us closer to our goal of reaching 30 countries before we turn 30 years old. If you saw our last episode, then you know one of those countries was St. Kitts. Today we're gonna to explore the entire island of St. Kitts, which is the smallest country in the Western Hemisphere. And today we're in Belize, which is our 26th country and the smallest country in Central America. When you think of Belize, you might think of beautiful beaches and islands and the second largest barrier reef in the world. But in this video today, we're actually heading into Western Belize and focusing on the mainland. Apparently there are ruins, waterfalls, and pretty cool little towns. And that's the goal of today's video to showcase what Belize has besides the beaches and the ocean. What do you guys think about our rental car? Apparently it's like spring break here or something and all the cars in the country are sold out, so we went with some company that, the car's a little outdated, has 90,000 miles on it, a couple dents and bruises, but hey, it works, so can't complain. I rolled down your window for you, the old fashioned way. Also, I'm sure you're all thinking, how could you come to Belize and not actually visit the ocean? Don't worry, we will be heading over to the islands in a few short days. We just wanted to see all of what Belize has to offer. Right now, we're two hours from Belize City, kind of in the middle of farmland country, and we're heading to San Ignacio, which I think is the biggest city on the western side of the country. We were hoping to hit the Mayan ruins today, but we kind of got here too late and, and didn't realize how long it would take to get our rental car. Not to mention here, the catalytic converter is wiped out from the vehicle, so our check engine light is on. So it just makes the adventure just a little bit more exciting. Hi, home. That's Sam's Club, but it's not the Sam's Club that we're used to, I don't think. I don't think so either. But on the map, it looked like it. We're getting into the heart of the city now. Topes, are we back in Mexico? Jesus. God, these streets are bumpy. Yes. These are the biggest topes ever. They're like speed humps. And people come to a complete stop, which I understand because they are so big, but they're everywhere. Okay, so we are in the heart of San Ignacio. These shoulders are so steep and we're kind of just driving around and trying to just figure out where to go for dinner. Oh. So we're friendly. in the main street here. We're still trying to find a place to eat. You wanna walk over there? The gentleman just told us that these tacos are the best in San Ignacio. The and Taco Bell of San Ignacio. The Taco Bell of Belize, I think. It only costs one dollar, so hopefully it's good. The best tacos in Belize? Yes? All right. It's really hot. I like it. It's really good. You want to try the beef one, too? Yeah. Beef good. wins? No, I think I like the chicken. Mm. I like this chicken. It has more like vegetable flavor or like fresh salsa y flavor. BN. Glad we stopped. Greg and Jess, if you're watching this, thanks for the inspiration. We're gonna get to Male's with chicken bones in it. <laughs> right? Chicken there bones? Go, <laughs> it's the thing to eat in Belize, so we gotta try it. We fried corn tortillas with beans, cheese on top. Greater, amazing as well. Wow, that looks pretty bang. Yeah, definitely it is, man. <laughs> Street food. Is this what you thought of for dinner tonight? No, I'm still not sure if this is my only dinner tonight. So we got a tamale. And then what is that? I don't know. This is a corn tortilla 
with refried beans, freshly grated cheese, and a little pepper thing on top. So I'm excited for this. Apparently they're really popular, so I'm gonna start on the edge and work my way into the chicken. It looks better on the plate. It was wrapped in this seaweed stuff, which was making it a little It's really hot, temperature-wise. Ooh, it's pretty good. All right, here's chicken. There could be a bone in there. Ooh, that pepper is hot. Hot tamale. <laughs> now for our next snack. This has the cheese on it that they put in the Mexican street corn that we had on the street of La Paz. Oh, yeah. So, should be good. It's crunchy. Where we end up? Trins. Trins restaurant. It got dark quick. It's raining, but that street food was delicious. I think I liked the second thing. What was it called? Garnachas. Our garnachas. And the first taco. Yeah, that's really good. So my dad does this at home. Every time he orders a beer in a bottle, which is the only way he will drink beer, he always orders or gets a napkin and cleans off the top. Belizean style, and he doesn't even know it. But we also ordered two like local beers. They actually brought it out with the napkin on, which is pretty cool. Maybe I should have just had Walking to the car? I'm safe, but... We just got out of Trins, and it was pretty good. It was really good. It's pretty cheap here, too. They said Belize is actually kind of expensive like Costa Rica in terms of Central America, but... San Ignacio area is cheap. I'm sure the islands are gonna be pretty expensive though. Oh. What do you think about these manual doors? <laughs> They're great. So great I forgot to lock it the first time we went to the grocery store. This car is sketchy. The brakes did oh, not sound good earlier. I'm gonna say overall San Ignacio is a pretty cool little town. The people are so, so nice. And if you're in the area, definitely try the street food because it is very good and very cheap so your dollar will go a long way but i think it's time to shower and get to bed because we have a full day ahead of us assuming it's not going to rain hopefully that's not the case i know we're in like the tropical the tropical cancer or whatever so fingers crossed they're just spotty showers and we'll be able to see the ruins and some waterfalls <laughs> Today we have a jam-packed day, and when I mean jam-packed, we have at least two things we want to get done today. One is the Zutanich Mayan Ruins, which is the biggest ruins in Belize, and the second one is Big Rock Falls, which is arguably the best waterfall in Belize because it has a swimming hole. The only challenge is that they're about two hours apart from each other, and it's supposed to rain this afternoon. And if it rains, then the dirt road to get to the waterfalls could be a bit of a challenge. So. Fingers crossed, the sun holds up, the thunderstorms do not come, and we'll be able to cross two of those things off our list. And if we have time, maybe we'll see another waterfall and even a blue hole. So we'll see. It's 7.20 right now. The mine ruins open at 8, and we got about an hour drive, so we need to get moving. We just got 8.9 gallons of gas. And it came out to sixty dollars. Yes, sir, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So it's $10, 10 Belizean dollars, not US dollars, so it's only $5 for us. Apparently you might be able to hike on the actual river. I'm not sure though. It's huge. I thought it was gonna be some dinky thing like this. That's huge. 
Wow. So we are going to hike all the way to the top of this thing. You excited? Um, it's very old. It's pretty hot and humid. Too bad there's no pools to jump in after. It's very, it's just like there's no wind, there's no breeze. So it's just like. These are big steps, man. They don't look that big. The mines were smart. They put uh, handrails here. Holy crap, I think there's bats up there. Really? Yeah. There's bats. Holy It's pretty wild. There's bats in here too? At least one. At least one bat right there. What do you think about bats? If it flies, I'm, I'm gonna fall off the mine there. <laughs> You're not. Smart. <laughs> there are a ton of bugs. Thank you. You have complete panoramic views up here. It's pretty nice. It's crazy how like there's, it's not built up at all. It's just like green. Yeah, this is just like by itself. Right over there, or over there, or over there, or over there. I don't know where. It's Guatemala. <laughs> True, it is somewhere. It's literally right, like we're on the, the border. Guatemala? That's Guatemala. That's Guatemala. Yeah. Right there. Right there. All right now. If you don't get a guide, we didn't. It's probably, what, 30 minutes to 40 minutes here? 30. 30, and you're good? Definitely come in the morning. Yeah. Or late at night, I feel like. Before yeah. it closes. In the middle of the day, it would probably be tough. It's probably gonna be hot. And crowded. It's 9.30, and it's packed. Next stop, Big Rock Waterfalls. Will we beat the rain? Probably not. It's gonna be real dark. So we were on a paved road much longer than I thought we were going to be. So when I said two hours, I was wrong. It's going to be quicker. We're going to get there at 10.30. I thought we were going to get, be getting there at 12 o'clock. So it's promising. And the sun is shining. Hopefully we don't jinx it. Because if this road gets soaked, it's going to get a little questionable. We have made it to the parking lot of Big Rock Falls. And there's three other cars, but this should be pretty fun. I'm pretty excited. Yeah? So what I recall is we have a bit of a hike, not too far, I think like 0.7 miles. It said it was pretty steep, but we'll be the judge of that one. the best part of mainland Belize, without a doubt. Favorite part of Belize. So far, I think the islands might win out, but I'm a beach girl. Sweet. Really nice. The water is beautiful. It is. Time to say goodbye to Big Rock Falls. This is our favorite thing so far. It's so fun. Change of plans. We are headed to Herman's Blue Hole, which is a national park here, and there's a Herman's Cave too. That's a national park? Yeah. We're gonna say thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we just got sweet corn on the side of the road here. Corn, just corn. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really sure what you expected. Hey, 
You gotta try it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> How thrilled are you? I mean, I'm about to go get Wesley or Zika. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> so we are officially on the self-guided hike to St. Herman's Cave. It's eight bucks per person, eight dollar, eight Belizean dollars. So four. So four. And then they recommend you get a light for the cave because you need it, kind of. It smells good. It smells really, really bad. I don't know how many people sweated in this thing, but it's definitely not washed. It smells like football, used football equipment Ew. or used hockey gear. And then they also said get a lot of bug repellent. We need it for the tail, tail, tail. What? You're, they you're, just, in my you're hair. just spraying it all over. They the can place. nest in my hair. <laughs> But apparently this cave is massive. We're gonna go in. The real reason why we're here is for the blue hole, which is like, and the chocolate. I guess a, what would you call it? Like a natural spring that is, uh, creates really clear water and it's really deep. You can go swimming in it. So that's kind of the highlight. And then the secondary part of this cave. So we're here for the blue hole and just kind of, Exploring the cave because we can. Wow. So bright. Hello. Hello. Hi. Pretty wild that there's water. I like that there's water. That makes it cool. It's okay. I'm a little scared. It's so dark. That is so crazy. Let's just go. Come on. We're right here. They did it, they were. This is freaking me out a little. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I think we're at the end. A little better. Yeah. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, here. It's warm. No, it's warm. Really? It's not cold. Oh. That was cool. I'm glad we did it. Good job. Thank you. We did it. Good job, Chica. You too. We have made it to the blue hole. I'm still sweating, so I am super excited. In the water. Is it warm? Can you guys? Feels good. It does feel nice. That was cool. I mean, I would recommend it. It's not a must do, but if you're like, if you're driving to San Ignacio. Mm -hmm. All right, well that wraps up mainland Belize and it is safe to say that it exceeded all of our expectations. We do recommend if you are coming here, maybe spending a day or two because there is so much to see and do in this little area and the people are so, so nice. Tomorrow though, we are headed to the islands and we are meeting up with some friends there, which we are super excited about. But if you wanna see that one, you'll have to wait till next time. See ya.